In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me this kind of four uh, squares and when I click, it will show me the details of each one, the title, the detail text along with the icon and at the top also you can add the option number and with some more details. When I click, it will show me with the second option with different uh, details than the third one and the fourth one. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light blue color background then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I am going to choose a rectangle which is rounded corners just click it here go to the shape format make the height and width as 3 and then shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside a little bit and press ctrl d to duplicate this one and shape outline a no outline and shape fill you can just give any color and here the height and width i'm going to make as 2.25 and 2.25 all right now press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to keep this one for my later use now this also make sure to align center align middle all right and this small orange point drag it more so it is less curved from the corners okay so it looks something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one more rectangle only from the half part here you can see here all right so now i'm going to select all these three shapes hold the shift key and select all these three shapes go to the more shapes and say fragment and here i'm deleting this one delete this delete this and you can see here i've got two different shapes here okay for this you can just fill any color so i'm going to give a color which is kind of a red and here i'm going to give a kind of a bluish gray all right so these two colors and this one the shape bring it to the front and give it a different color so here i'm going to give a white color and make sure to align center align middle and you can see the small orange point just drag it more outside okay so it looks something like this all right and make sure that all these things should not have any outline okay so once this is done you can insert some icon here so go to insert click on icons and I'm going to insert an icon related to my topic. So in this case, I'm just choose, I'm going to choose a, a random icon. So sometimes take some more time to download. Yeah, so I'm just randomly, I'm choosing this kind of a alarm clock, click insert and make the height and width as 0.7 and color, I'm going to give the same color which I've used here and put it exactly here then go to insert text box i'm going to add the title make it center align make it bold and go to insert text box you can add detail text here this also center align reduce the font size to maybe 12 or 14. all right so now once this is done i'm going to select all these objects and move it towards the left side okay then hold the ctrl shift key and duplicate this one and put exactly on top of this one okay so now i'm going to change the color here so this color i'm going to give a kind of a orange and this color the same blue gray color i'm going to give and this one send this to back okay send this to back so it looks something like this so now again two more i'm going to copy so select all these objects hold the ctrl shift key and move it aside here so now this also i'm going to send this to back all right here i'm going to give some different color maybe i'm going to give a kind of a blue color and here i'm going to give a kind of a light green color here so you can see here the design is almost almost done so now for me it's very simple i'm just going to select this one go to the graphic format change graphics from icon i can just choose the icon related to my topic so i'm just going to make it maybe a kind of uh, african uh, map 
insert and make sure the graphic fill the same color we have to use which is the orange color here and here I'm going to give a color as blue and then again same thing you can apply select the icon and change graphic from icons and choose any relevant icon here so let me just choose this a kind of a Japanese house all right and here this would be a kind of a green color so i'm not changing that one you know that how i have just explained you how you have to do that one all right so once this is done what you can do is you can group this one so to group this one first of all select this 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 and this and press ctrl g to group it okay i'm just selecting this only okay these four things you can see here these four things press ctrl g to group it why i'm doing the grouping because when we are doing the animation it will help us to do the animation quickly all right all right so it's done if you want to add few more information like uh, here you can see here i have put option number text that information also can be added but uh, you know how we have added here the same thing we need to add it at the top so i'm not going to explain that one so now let's do a uh, animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this 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 and this with the help of the shift key and make it fly in you can see here fly in fly in this two should come from top okay make it from top okay so now if i play it comes something like this then i'm going to select this 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 and this again make this as fly in but again this one and this one should come from top okay and this should happen after previous so now it comes something like this you can see here it comes something like this and then each i'm going to select this one and add animation more intense effects select the basic zoom click ok effect options make it from out again if you want all this one to be on click you can just change to on click here okay if i play now it comes something like this then the first option second option third option and fourth option and if you like to add this information also you can just add it over here 